I början av varje år så åker Trusknistans grundare Kurt Johansson ut tillsammans med sin fru Ingerd för att besöka arbetet i Kenya. När Kurt och Ingerd åker ut på såna här officiella resor så besöker de skolor, församlingar och olika projekt som har startats genom åren. När de kom till Kenya 1970 så fanns det knappt några kristna alls, vare sig i Masai-stammen eller i Korea-stammen. Sedan dess har mycket hänt. Bara i Masai-stammen idag så har Trusknistan 135 församlingar med över 6 500 vuxna medlemmar och berör mer än 8 000 barn i sina söndagsskolor. Det pågår idag en stark väckelse bland Masai och hungen efter Gud är väldigt stor. Så, välkommen att följa med på ett möte på traditionellt masai Then the Lord bless you. And I'll say this day is the different with others days. You don't know where you come from, Africa. So I travel all the way from Nairobi down to Korea. Now what? Now do the Lord bless you. Allah bless you. Come to Korea. And the missionary took me inside the Maasai land. Now I am missionary in Bobor Maasai. And it was very beautiful. Now go see that. There were many cattle and very green hills. So in fact I was impressed. Father in the name of Jesus. That I'm a child of God. And I'm ready to meet you. Amen. Idag är vi och besöker Pelle som, som vi tog hand om på Komotobo som jag berättade om han som var så dålig och hade så mycket mask i magen och, och, och vi, hade, vi hjälpte honom till livet igen. Och det här, han dog ju sen och det här är ju enkan efter Pelle och så, så nu är vi här för att uppsöka dem och se vilken hjälp som de behöver för de lever ju otroligt de har ett otroligt dåligt hus och, och lever ju ett väldigt svårt liv men eh, vi hoppas och tror att, att eh, vi kan få vara till välsignelse och hjälp för den här familjen Vad mm. dåligt <laughs> having a conference here, a pastors conference. And how many pastors and evangelists do you think are present in this conference? Uh, in this conference right now we've attended about 550 pastors and uh, leaders from all over Kenya. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I can see really a change uh, among our pastors. Uh, I think um, something has happened here in the last years. Yeah, indeed the Lord has moved us from one dimension to the other dimension yeah. of glory and we really thank God because it's going and it's growing and there is such a motivation and a move and a passion for mm. pastors to serve God than ever before, yes.
I think Migori Bible College is a great blessing. Uh, indeed, it's a college of uh, excellence. We are really moving forward and we believe God for great things. The new uh, building and the renovations have really upgraded this place and uh, it's a really a center of excellence. We are proud because of what the Lord is doing. So I think there are many Christians in Sweden who have been contributing. What would you like to say to them? Well, I really want to appreciate and I want to pray that the Lord shall continue to bless them for standing with us. Because of that, we are able to do what we are doing through the help of God through them. May God bless you, dear uh, friends in Sweden and wherever you are, feel part of this great move of God and blessings here. you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. But we want the gospel of excellence changing people into the very image of Christ. and I'll be here for the next half a year, for two years. And I love my job here, and these kids are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Resan fortsatte mot Kigali i Rwanda. Församlingen i Kigali de har inte haft det lätt. Den första byggnaden de hade den kom stormen och slog sönder. Den andra byggnaden, ett trätabernakel, tyckte inte myndigheterna passade in i miljöbilden, så den fick rivas. Nu så står det återigen en vacker byggnad, redo för att fira gudstjänst och redo för att invigas.
just like it happened when Solomon dedicated the temple the glory of the God, God came down hallelujah It has been a joy for me to be together with Shell Halvorsen, who has also been teaching and preaching. How have you experienced this time in Rwanda? It has been a wonderful time, uh, really a blessing to see the work of God uh, taking place and the new building which we have worked hard for and uh, to have this dedication was wonderful. Uh, yesterday we dedicated the new church building, about 1,000 people were here and it was a tremendous atmosphere yes. and I think it's a joy for you Shell, because you have also been struggling for this building. Yes we have and we have uh, heard a cry from this country and we have uh, collected money yeah. and uh, we are so happy to see that uh, this could take place and then we have this weekend of celebration. And now we can hear the singing and rejoicing in the background. The church and the Christians here in Rwanda are so happy because of this beautiful center and we believe it will be a great blessing for Kigali and the work in Rwanda. Amen. <laughs>